Good afternoon, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. This is Tracking the Tropics, and the tropics are getting very busy. Of course, this weekend, tracking Tropical System Fred. Currently in a depression as of this afternoon, forecast to become a tropical storm as we head into tonight and early tomorrow morning. Here's the latest on Tropical Depression Fred. Winds of 35 miles per hour. Forecast to become tropical storm as it approaches the Keys tomorrow morning. From there, where there are tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches up toward Marco Island and Fort Myers. It's forecast to track into the open Gulf, but close to Tampa Bay. By Sunday morning, it'll make its closest pass to central Florida before making landfall Sunday night. A weak tropical storm, mind you, up around the beaches, Panama City Beach, Apalachicola, somewhere in the panhandle. That said, we're going to escape most of the impacts, but still getting waves of rain on and off, intermittent showers, thunderstorms all weekend long. Could be an isolated severe storm with a stray tornado, but at this point, it doesn't look like anything terrible thanks to the system now tracking farther west than previously forecast. A new in the Atlantic potential tropical storm seven. You may have seen the name potential tropical cyclone. It's the same thing. We're just simplifying it, calling it a potential storm, but it's forecast to become grace by tomorrow morning. And then it'll make a run very similar to that of Fred across the Caribbean. And if it survives transit over Hispaniola, it'll enter the Bahamas as a tropical storm. We'll have to watch that one carefully by the middle of next week because obviously, you know, it's heading our general direction. So yeah, there's that. So we've got these two systems. We've got Fred passing by this weekend and future grace passing by for the middle of next week. So let's talk about what's going on right now in the Caribbean. You'll notice there's a swirl near Florida right now. This is an upper level low right here, and that's actually an area of wind shear. So as what's left of Fred heads our way over this weekend, it's going to be encountering this wind shear. And so that will further weaken the system or at least stop it from getting too strong as it makes its way up into the Gulf of Mexico. So there's a lot of things kind of going against this system, and that's good news for us naturally. This weekend looks to be quite salvageable for outdoor plans, but unlike a typical August weekend where you get that afternoon thunderstorm, this time we're gonna have a couple showers and even storms in the morning, followed by some sunshine and then more storms developing in the afternoons. So just be prepared for that for any outdoor plans. Your full forecast coming up on Fox 35 News at five o'clock. Of course, we'll talk about everything weather-wise right on into next week. Also, don't forget to check us out at the Fox 35 YouTube page. We're doing live streams the Fox 35 Storm Team app and of course Fox 35 Orlando, the place to go for everything news in this region. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This has been your Tracking the Tropics.